Are you ready? Because we're going five pounds down every four weeks in 2022. And today we are getting slim and toned with your lightest dumbbells. So grab those and let's go. All right, beautiful bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. Have your dumbbells out of the way for right now and let's get started with some arm circles with high knees. You guys, welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like self-love. And do you know what feels like self-love? I do. <laughs> it's losing weight with the 5-0 method where every day we do five things that make you say, oh, I had no idea that losing weight could be this easy and fun. Every day we eat the right number of calories and it's not necessarily less than you've been eating before, my friends. Every day we drink the right amount of water, which is half your body weight in pounds in ounces of water. We also get the right amount of sleep, which means that we go to bed at the same time every night. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. And we get up at the same time every morning and we don't worry about how much in between that was actual sleep. My friends, we also exercise exercise moderately with a workout like this one that is not necessarily more than you were doing before. And maybe the most important part of it all, we manage our minds by finding our thoughts and deciding if they're helpful. And the way that we know if they are helpful is if it feels good. If it feels good, it's a helpful thought. If it doesn't feel good, it is not a helpful thought. And today's helpful thought, one of my absolute favorites. I love this one. It is only part of a sentence, actually. <laughs> it is, this is the part where this is the part where we're going to do some welcome to my homes. Welcome to my home. But this phrase for me reminds me that what I'm doing right this minute is simply the part where this is what I'm doing right this minute. That something could change if it needs to change. Something could stay the same if it stays the same. Something could be different if it needs to be different. This is the part where, and I often say this one to myself, honestly, when I'm struggling, when I'm having a hard time, this is the part where I have a hard time right before I figure it out. This is the part where I need to do something different before it all works out. This is the part where reminds me that I'm getting somewhere else, that I am getting to my goal no matter what. This is the part where things just look bleak as sometimes they do, except for today, not bleak at all. My friends, here's the dealio. I've got the handy dandy gym boss set for intervals of 20 seconds and we are going inchworm style, which means that we're actually gonna start off kind of easy. Don't let that fool you. Don't ever let that fool you. We're gonna get started with some big arm side shuffles. Grab your dumbbells if you'd like to. You're more than welcome to do this one. Empty handed if you would prefer. We're gonna make nice big circles right in front of us as we shuffle from side to side. This is just 20 seconds and this is what happens with an inchworm. We literally, inchworm our way through my list of exercises. So when it beeps, we're actually gonna get 20 seconds of rest. And that's what I mean. Don't let it fool you how quickly we get right into a little bit of rest. There's actually, today actually has a fair bit of rest just in general, inchworm workouts do. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do those big arm side shuffles again. We're gonna add on diving airplanes. And then as we move through the list, we're going to do the second one of the first pair and then the first one of another pair. <laughs> And that made almost no sense, so don't worry about it. When it beeps again, here's all you need to know. We're gonna be doing diving airplanes before we rest again. I wanted to make sure that we got plenty of rest in today's workout because when we have even light dumbbells in our hands, this is a little bit more work and this does tend to be, here we go with diving airplanes, this does tend to be the kind of workout that can push you right up to the edge of moderate. So in order to make sure that we can keep our heart rate under control, that we can keep our effort in that moderate range, moderate for you is moderate, my friends. And then here's 20 seconds of rest. When we can keep it moderate, we'll be able to do a workout exactly like this one, but not this one again tomorrow. That is always our goal, my friends. When it beeps again, we're doing those diving airplanes and then we're adding on starbursts. So we've got another pair of exercises. Here's our diving airplanes. Starbursts are we get little and we get big. Gonna crouch down in a little bit of a, a little teeny tiny squatty dough. Not a full squat, but a little squatty dough. And then as we come up, we'll raise our hands up overhead and one foot kicks out to the side. It's a little bit, whoo, doggies of work at a time. So starburst 
and starburst. Not to be confused with, you know, starbursts. <laughs> when it beeps again, we've got 20 seconds of rest. My friends, I went through a very difficult time in my business a couple of years ago where I honestly, I wasn't sure what was going to happen with it. Here's 20 seconds of rest. I really didn't know what was going to happen. I, I felt like I was at the end of my ability to push forward when it beats again. By the way, we're going to do those star bursts again paired with can cans. I felt like I had gotten to the point where I didn't know what to do in order to grow the business to a place that I wanted to. So here we go with those star bursts. And I thought to myself that maybe it was time to quit, that maybe it was time to look for something else, that maybe it was time to just decide that this was as good as it was ever gonna get. And therefore, I guess I should be happy <laughs> with where I was. And what happened was, here we go with can cans, a knee and a kick and a knee and a kick. What happened was I continued thinking those unhelpful thoughts for a while, but interspersed every once in a while, I would find something that felt more helpful. I would find something that felt like, you know what, here's a direction that I'd like to take this. Here's 20 seconds of rest. And so as I worked through those unhelpful thoughts, those nuggets of one helpful thought at a time kept moving me forward. This is actually what I want you to know, no matter where you are on your mindset journey, by the way, when it beeps again, we're going to do those can-cans again, paired with toy soldiers this time. So a knee and a kick and a knee and a kick. This might be the part where you notice that all you have is unhelpful thoughts, <laughs> that, that it really feels like, like a 95% split with maybe 5% helpful thoughts thrown in there once in a while. Here we go with toy soldiers, hands up overhead, opposite hand, reaching towards your opposite, kicking foot, make sure that your core is pulled in nice and tight. Gonna have 20 seconds of rest when it beeps again. Excellent job. And the fact is that if all you are finding right now, here's 20 seconds of rest. If all you are finding right now is those unhelpful thoughts and it really feels like it's all you're having, I promise this is the part where you are figuring that out. Simply finding your thoughts is a skill that I didn't possess for a long time. It's new, here we go with toy soldiers. We're pairing these with low swinging tappers. Hands are swinging from side to side. I call it low because they're not going up overhead, but they actually are gonna swing out to the side pretty high while we're tapping back and forth with our feet. Doing some Robert Palmers with our feet. Like a addicted to love. Do you remember that old video? <laughs> Those girls tapping from side to side. Not quite as rhythmically as we're doing this though. You know that? <laughs> it's my favorite thing about watching that old video. They're so offbeat. They're so clearly not actually playing instruments, obviously. <laughs> Here's 20 seconds of rest. My feet are actually still pretty much doing the Robert Palmers. Okay, whoo, doggies. Okay, see this is why we have plenty of rest today is because your heart rate comes up really nicely with these dumbbells in your hands. So coming up next, we're gonna do those low swinging tappers again, paired with dancing X's this time. So the thing about finding your unhelpful thoughts, even though it feels like maybe that's all you're having is unhelpful thoughts, the fact that you are finding them is really good news. It's like actually amazing news. You don't need to be thinking positive thoughts all day, every day. We, none of us does. Here we go with dancing X's. Hands are up nice and wide, feet out nice and wide like a letter X. Crunching and meeting in the middle with your opposite elbow, opposite knee. You're doing such a good job. The thought of trying to be positive all the time, not a helpful thought. <laughs> Isn't that funny when you think about this? I want to think positive all the time is actually an unhelpful thought. My friends, the fact is you don't want to think positively all the time. You don't want to think positively about injustice or racism or problems in the world. You actually want to be upset about those things. When it beeps again, of course, we're doing dancing X's again. You want to feel all your feelings. You want to be able to live a full, rich life where some of your thoughts, frankly, are unhelpful. <laughs> some of them make you angry. Some of them make you sad. Some of them make you frustrated. Finding them and recognizing them. Here we go with twisting high knees, 
knowing, knowing that they're all thoughts that you can find, that you can classify as helpful or unhelpful, that you can do something with if you choose to, is the skill. There is nothing more magic, here we go, 20 seconds of rest. There's nothing more magic that needs to be done than finding your thoughts and deciding for yourself if they're helpful. If they are helpful, keep thinking them. If they're not helpful, simply let your brain recognize that they're unhelpful, that they're not gonna get you where you wanna go. When it beeps again, we're doing those twisting high knees and we're pairing it because, hey, this was the end of this list. We're pairing it back with that first exercise, the big arm side shuffles. I'm gonna see if I can get myself scooted over a little bit. This is, <laughs> this is met with mediocre success sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I'm better at this than others, but it seemed to have worked out. I didn't fall over so that's really good here we go with big arms side shuffles my friends <laughs> also I don't know if you can tell the sun just went behind a huge cloud like all of a sudden I lost almost all of my natural light in here so hopefully hopefully my editor has done some good color correction on this because otherwise it just got real dark here's 20 seconds of rest this is the part this is the part where the sun went behind the clouds this is the part where it all seemed very dark and then things got better. Let me tell you, let me finish telling you the story of how I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to continue on. Let's go ahead and do those big arm side shuffles when it beats and repairing it with the diving airplanes. So here we go, big arm side shuffles. That was a couple of years ago when I really wasn't sure about my future on YouTube. I really wasn't sure about my future of just even being in business for myself, whether or not this was something I could really do. And then one mildly helpful thought at a time here we go with diving airplanes I made my way here well over 260,000 subscribers thank you all for being my subscribers thank you all for watching the videos for being here working out with me I have built I have built the career for myself of my dreams at this point <sighs> 20 seconds of rest you guys this might be the part where it seems really hard. This might be the part where it seems like maybe you should quit, maybe you should give up. This might be the part right before you totally figure it out. If you knew, by the way, when it beeps again, we're doing those diving airplanes, here we go, paired with starbursts. If you, okay, have you ever gone to a movie where like your friend, or in my case, my kids, I make my kids tell me how, this, how the story's gonna end. <laughs> They come home from a movie and I'm always like, tell me what happened. Just tell me what happened because I don't want to be surprised. So then they'll tell me and they'll be like, and here we go with Starburst. Then they'll tell me and they'll be like, mom, but half the fun is going to a movie and like not knowing what's coming next. I'm like, no, half the fun for me is knowing that it all works out fine in the end. I want to know whether or not there's a happy ending. And frankly, with so many movies, I want to know who dies. I want to know what's going to happen. Here's 20 seconds of rest. I would rather know what's going to happen. And this is what I'm going to tell you. Your story, 100%. It has a happy ending. You get your goal. Everything works out great. If you knew that, this would just be the part where things felt tough when it beeps again. It does feel a little tough. These are starbursts again. We're pairing them with can cans. My friends, this might only be the part right before everything clicks into place. And this might be the part where nothing clicks into place for a lot longer. For me personally, that, that day that I remember was, oh my gosh, six years ago. Here's cans, cans. It took me another, I'm gonna say four years, because I've had two really, really almost three years now of like really good success, really feeling like I was dialing things in, like I know what I'm doing, like I'm really happy with my work, really happy with where it's going. So at least three more years, here's 20 seconds of rest, before things turned around at all, at all for me. Really knowing that if you keep going, of course you're gonna get there, because you're not going to quit, you'll keep figuring it out. That's all you need for yourself. Truly, it's all you need. Here we go. With those can cans again, I almost lost my place here. <laughs> I got so worked up with that, with that thought. My friends, this is just the part where this is going on right now. This is just the part where we're doing can cans and it feels a little bit weird. And coming up next, it's gonna be toy soldiers. 
<laughs> this is just the part where the sun went behind the clouds. This is just the part where things feel a little bit tough before they get better. And, and on the flip side of that, this might be the part where everything really feels like it's clicking. It feels amazing. This is the part where it all comes together. This is the part that I've been waiting for because now I know the magic behind, behind finding my thoughts and deciding if they're helpful. Now this is the part where I have this thing figured out in this one part of my life and now I can go apply it to something else. Because I tell you what, you guys, when it beeps again, we're doing toy soldiers, of course, pairing it with low swinging tappers. This work that we do to lose weight, this is the same work Obviously not. I mean, yes, you are going to eat the right amount of food. You're still going to drink. You're still going to hydrate, which is the same thing as drinking. <laughs> you're still going to sleep. You're still going to eat. You're still going to manage your mind when you're maintaining your weight. But also this work of managing your mind, finding your thoughts, deciding what's helpful is what will get you. Here we go with low swinging tappers to every goal you could ever have in your life. This is how you build a career. This is how you build relationships. This is how you lose weight. This is how you start painting. This is how you start doing anything. You find your thoughts. You decide if they're helpful. You find one helpful thought at a time. Okay, 20 seconds of rest. Whew. Who doggies, am I right? This is why there's so much rest. This is the part where Paula needs a little bit of a rest. When it beeps again, we're doing those low swinging tappers, still basically doing the exact same thing with my feet, but just moving my hands a little bit more and paired with those dancing X's. Here we go. You guys, this is a good sweat today. The right amount of exercise, you know, it's not too much, it's not too little, it's exactly right. It is the moderate amount for you. Maybe that means that you're going a lot slower than me. Maybe that means that you did not have weights in your hands this whole time, dancing X's here. Maybe, maybe this is the part where you made the right modification so that you weren't knocking yourself out, so that you were figuring out what moderate is. This is, I mean, for me, this is still the part where I'm figuring out moderate, where I'm allowing myself to have unhelpful thoughts about I wish I could do more, I wanna do more, I used to be able to do more. That one's, that one's actually the one that I am working on right this minute. This week, this month, probably this year, who knows? Who knows how long it takes for a, a thought to be really wiggled free out from that unhelpful. Here we go with those dancing X's, pairing it with the twisting high knees. We've almost made it to the bottom of the list for our second time, my friends. Sometimes, it takes a while, even if you've categorized a thought as unhelpful, because, because your brain's gonna offer you that same thought again and again and again, it's just what brains do. Brains offer you automatic thoughts all the time. Twisting high knees. My brain still offers me that I would like to do more, that I used to do more, and I'm working on it every day, reminding myself that's an unhelpful thought. You know how that makes me feel? It makes me feel lousy. That's how I know it's unhelpful. <laughs> It's right there in my feelings. All I have to do is check in with my feelings. Here's 20 seconds of rest. You guys, we're gonna do those twitching high knees one more time, and then that's it. We are done. You know how I finish that sentence. I'm gonna go ahead and let us do the twisting high knees though before I tell you what's coming next because of course there's gonna be just like a little bit more that's coming next. Here's our twisting high knees and we are actually gonna get one more interval of rest so that I can explain what we're doing and so that your heart rate can come down just a little bit because you know, you know if you have ever done any of my workouts before <laughs> that the finisher when we are done but not finished, the finisher is always a little bit of balance work. So I want you to be able to get your heart a little bit under control before we do some super slow sprinters. Here's what super slow sprinters look like. I'm gonna have one interval on my left foot. I'm gonna start on my left foot. You're gonna bring your opposite elbow towards your opposite knee, kind of crunching in the middle. And then we're gonna extend all the way out. And I'm not gonna start doing that yet. I got a couple more seconds of rest to bring my heart rate down before we do that. Here it is though. We're gonna crunch in the middle and then extend all the way out. You are welcome to drop your weights for this. I meant to, and then I kept them in my hands for some unknown reason. Boy, oh my gosh, this is not easy, but when, we, when it beeps again, we're gonna do this exact same thing on the other side, and then we will actually be better than done. We will be finished. Squeeze in the middle, 
Extend all the way out, really trying to get your biceps all the way up next to your ears on that extended arm. Really feel the back of your shoulder working, your middle and upper back, and that, my friends, haha, <laughs> was it. What a great, great, great job you did. That was very moderately sweaty. <laughs> Right at the edge, wasn't it? I know, I know, right at the edge of moderate. And that is what we work on, my friends. I promise you, I promise you this was enough. This is the part where I tell you <laughs> that this was enough for you today. It is almost impossible to under-exercise, but it is very, 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 very possible to over-exercise while you are losing weight. You can lose weight without exercising at all. It always comes back to eating the right amount of calories for you, for your energy needs. That's why, right here on screen, I've got the video that explains it all. I've also got the links in the description box below. Let's go ahead and open it up. That has the 5-0 method, that has the calculations for you. Give yourself a hug and a pat on your sweaty back. Oh my gosh, what a great, great, great job you did today, my friends. Ha, ah, okay. I don't mention it very often anymore. I used to mention it at every video and I never say it anymore, but it's still available to you. I have an extended cool down here for you, just in case you need that one today. This was, this was a good sweaty one. You might want just a little bit more stretching and you might want the reminder of this is how we lose weight at this age and beyond. This is the part where we figure it out and it all comes together. You guys, thank you so, so much for working out with me. Make sure you click that subscribe button before you go and I'll see you tomorrow.